Hi everybody. In this video render video, we're going to take a look at some of the reasons why you might want to switch to D5 Render. We'll look at some of the strengths of D5 Render, and we'll also take a look at a couple of reasons why you may not want to switch to using it. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Reason number one, real-time rendering and photorealistic quality. D5 Render is a real-time ray tracing architectural visualization software, and the real-time nature allows instant visual feedback as you make changes to your scene. This will speed up your workflow and really boost your creativity. You no longer have to wait to see the results of what adding lights will do. And you no longer have to render a scene to get an actual idea of how it will look. D5 Render revolutionizes the rendering process by providing real-time feedback as you make changes to your scene. This means that you can adjust the lighting, materials, textures, and camera angles and instantly see the results. Traditionally, 3D rendering requires long wait times for the final output, but D5 Render allows you to work in a live environment where every change is updated instantly. This allows you to experiment with settings such as time of day or weather without having to render and see what the final output will look like. In addition, D5 Render produces photorealistic results. It utilizes advanced rendering technologies like ray tracing and a custom global illumination solution to generate high quality, lifelike images that can be used for professional work. The results of D5 Render are better than other real-time programs for ArchViz rendering, and what you see in the viewport accurately represents what the finished render will look like. A bespoke ray tracing algorithm simulates how light behaves in real life, capturing reflections, refractions, shadows, and beautiful caustics with incredible accuracy. In addition, the software also includes realistic textures and materials like wood, metal, glass, and fabrics that help contribute to lifelike results. Whether you're designing interiors or exteriors or urban environments, the level of detail you can achieve is very impressive. This photorealism makes it easier to present your ideas to clients, ensuring that your designs look as close to reality as possible, and helping your clients visualize spaces or buildings or designs before they are built. The next reason you might think of adopting D5 Render is the extensive asset library. D5 Render comes with an impressive built-in asset library where objects are hosted on a cloud server, but this includes a wide variety of pre-made 3D models, textures, materials, and increasingly new assets like HDRI skies or lighting from other people's scenes. Whether you're looking for furniture, plants, and vehicles, all the way up to architectural elements, the extensive library allows you to quickly populate your scene with realistic objects without having to create them from scratch. For example, interior designers can choose from a vast selection of furniture and decor to bring their rooms to life, while architects can incorporate realistic plants, realistic materials, cars, and even people into their exterior scenes. Additionally, if you need something unique that's not in the library, D5 Render allows you to import in a wide variety of formats. You can also import and assign your own materials or D5-specific materials to your imported assets. And what's really great is assets once loaded into D5 can be added to the local library, meaning you can use them again in future scenes. In addition, because the library is web or cloud-based, it means it's very easy for the creators of D5 Render to update it behind the scenes. This allows access to new models and materials without having to re-download or reinstall D5 Render. D5 Render utilizes AI in what I think is the best possible way. The developers are making tools that utilize AI to improve your renders. The AI tools in D5 Render make your workflow easier and make your results better. And they include a wide variety of different tools, including AI-driven image enhancement, AI scene and lighting match tools, and also the ability to create AI-generated texture maps using a default diffuse map. In addition, the rollout of new AI tools has been relatively swift and pretty painless from a user point of view. 
D5 seems to stand on the cusp of integrating really efficient and really useful AI tools within their software without having to use an external tool. In addition, D5 Render has also recently added the ability to convert your rendered image into a variety of different AI-driven artistic styles. And lastly, D5 Render is capable of producing beauty through mood and atmosphere. It utilizes physically-based rendering materials and its handling of light and shadow produces realistic shadows and beautiful reflections. In addition, in order to add mood and atmosphere, D5 Render comes with a variety of fantastic tools. There are volumetric effects like fog and haze and light scattering and some beautiful caustics. But we also have access to very nice weather simulation, including wind, procedurally generated skies, and a variety of different lighting types, whether the default geo and sky, or the use of a HDRI or high dynamic range image. And lastly, we have camera that allows us to enable things like depth of field and add lens effects like bloom or glare. The overall result is really beautiful renders that elicit an emotional reaction. In order to balance out this analysis on D5, we do have to point out some of the issues or problems with working with D5 Render and things that might sort of prevent you from adopting the software. The first is going to be the price. We should point out there are no more perpetual licenses for D5, except for those lucky users who got to kind of pick that up at the start. One is the free edition, which is incredibly feature rich for basically the free version of the software. For the rest of us though, we have a choice between monthly or yearly subscriptions and it is cheaper to go with the yearly, but the monthly, which is probably what most users who are paying will do, will actually find that it is quite expensive over time. It is currently in the US at about 38 US dollars a month, which adds up quite a bit over the course of the year. The second reason you may not want to adopt D5 Render is to do with the hardware requirements. D5 Render is very GPU dependent, and quite simply to get the best results, you're going to have to invest in a pretty high-end GPU. Strictly speaking, you can run D5 Render on lower-end hardware, but you will get diminishing returns. To maximize the results and the speed and the scale of the projects you can work with, you will have to invest in a high-end or middle-to-high-end GPU. In addition, you'll want to make sure that all of the other component pieces are not bottlenecking D5 render performance. And this, for many users, might mean investing in new hardware or updating older hardware, which will overall add to the cost and expense. Third reason you might not want to use D5 render. Um... You just like bad renders, I guess? I don't really know. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a third reason. It's really great. Download the free edition. Give it a shot. I think you'll really love the results. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching this slightly different via render video. Hope you found it informative, and I really do hope you give D5 Render a try. I've loved it, and I think you will too. All right, see you in the next video. Cheers.